Hello. Welcome to Arena Football 101 Part 2. Um, again, we play an 8-on-8 eight -eight game, okay, um, with, with one of our receivers, uh, usually in forward motion. Uh, they don't have to be in motion, okay, um, and they can also go in motion laterally as well as forward and back, okay. We play 8-on-8. Eight -eight. Our positions, we have X, Y, and Z are the three wide receivers, okay. You must have four players on the line of scrimmage. So we have a tight end who is eligible to go out for a pass, center, guard who is not eligible to go out for a pass, and then on the same side of the guard, you have to have your fourth player on the, the line of scrimmage. All right. They cannot, this fourth player on the line of scrimmage cannot be any closer than three yards from the guard if he's on the line of scrimmage. So you cannot line up another tight end right next to the guard. It has to be at least three yards away from, from that guard if he's on the line of scrimmage. If he is off the ball, that player can has to be one yard away and then obviously one yard off the ball. Okay. So tight end is eligible to go out for a pass. When he breaks the huddle, he has to signal that he's the tight end. Okay. And your receiver on the ball has to be away from him. So uh, I guess it's possible on any one play you could have five eligible receivers. If you put your quarterback in shotgun, you could have as many as six eligible receivers. Obviously, one would have to throw the pass. So a lot of players could go out for a pass. Um, we have a defensive end, nose tackle, and so we have two ends. These players must be down in a three or four point stance when the ball is snapped. Okay, otherwise it's an illegal defense. They must have at least one hand on the ground. The nose must be head up with the center. Okay, the nose cannot be shaded right or left. He has to play head up on the center. The defensive ends, they have to, some part of their shoulder must be in line with the offensive lineman's shoulder. Okay, so there can't be what we call daylight be between his shoulder and the tight end shoulder, or this defensive end shoulder and the guard shoulder. Linebackers. Linebackers can be tight, but they cannot be, again, there has to be daylight between the linebacker's head and the defensive lineman's rear ends. So there has to be daylight between his head and the defensive lineman. Both linebackers must start in the defensive box. And then we have our boundary corner, our safety, what we call our safety, and our field corner. Again, a ball is always spotted on, the, on a hash mark, so you always have a boundary side and a field side. 